As uh, most folks know, I recently had surgery on my cervical spine. And in addition to being given a prescription for an opiate, a muscle relaxant, I was also prescribed gabapentin. Mm -hmm. And I took it post-operatively with the mindset that this was just going to allow me to take fewer opiates. And I mm -hmm. think it effectively did so. I took as few opiates as possible and even started to wean off the muscle relaxants, but I, I stayed on the gabapentin for a few additional days when I went off of it. And maybe that played a role in me then not being able to sleep as well. Yes. Okay, have That's I have I great point. Point. Maybe because he this became is what... a little dependent on well, it or just I... tolerant? His body or... became tolerant to it. I th listen, if you're mm -hmm. taking gabapentin and you suddenly stop, you can have a seizure. So you have to taper off the medicine very, very slowly. But you know, Travis made a great point. He said, you know, it allowed him to not take as many opiates. But mm -hmm. what we're seeing in the community is that drug users are realizing that gabapentin potentiates the opiate. It makes the opiate more powerful, and we're seeing it being cut with heroin now. So people are combining these, and they're not realizing how unbelievably dangerous it is. So, what But I think the numbers are up to support that, yeah. because right. the Ohio Board of Pharmacy, where we know the epidemic for opiates certainly is the strongest, recently reported that in one month, gabapentin was prescribed as the number one drug, and nine million more prescriptions right. than oxycodone. And, and the withdrawal effects are mind-boggling. Yeah, and the withdrawal effects are really severe. And they get tremors, they get sweaty. And then we know that in the last eight years, actually there's been a 90% increase in emergency rooms for symptoms related to the off-label use of gabapentin. And I think what's scary is this is really a non-regulated drug. You know, it's not a regulation by the DEA in most states. And because it's generic, guys, it's very cheap. Yeah. 75 very cheap cents on the street. Cents it's it's so, so cheap. Wow. I'll tell you, we got a lot of comments mm from people who have used this drug here, just a few of them. I've had withdrawals from this drug for over a year and it's been the worst withdrawal I've ever had, far worse than heroin and benzos. For me, gabapentin withdrawals feel like a mix between opiate and benzo withdrawal with a wow. horrible psychedelic twist. Mm -hmm. It is a nightmare. Another person wrote, I go to three different doctors for this med, doctor shopping as you called it. I cannot believe my psychiatrist at the addiction clinic is the one who initially prescribed me this. Now I know that it's my own fault for even thinking about whether I could abuse this med, but unfortunately, I'm already in too deep. I hope that we've raised awareness mm -hmm. for patients, for physicians. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we need to start thinking uh, at a higher level of controlling this substance. Right. And just be aware, I think this gets back to any individual out there. Anytime a doctor prescribes you a medication, just be very clear, why am I taking this? How long do I need to take it? What is the lowest possible effective dose?